Hey everyone, in my last video, I showed how to upscale blurry images using the Flux model. I didn't share the workflow because it was complicated, but I've simplified it for you. Today, I'm sharing a new, simple workflow. This gives better results and helps upscale blurry images to high quality. It's powered by Flux model and Flux One Dev Control Net Union Pro. Now, let me give you a quick overview of Flux.1 Dev Control Net Union Pro. This is the pro version of Flux One Dev Control Net, trained with more steps and data ensuring better image quality, so you get even better results than before. What makes it special? It supports seven control net modes like canny, depth, blur, pose, and more. These modes include canny, depth, blurry, pose, grayscale, and low-quality inputs. Use it to generate super detailed images from blurry or low-quality sources. The model is a collaboration between Instanex and Shaker Labs, making it powerful for AI image generation. It's super easy to use. Today, I'll show you how to set it up in Comfy UI for the best results. Let's jump into the workflow. First, open Comfy UI and load the diffusion model. Load the diffusion model and select flux one dev shape tensor. If you have low VRAM, you can load different unit loader. Now, load the GGUF model and select any one of the available options. Open dual clip loader next. Select clip 1T5XX underscore F8 and clip 2 clip I. For VAE, load AE.safetensors. Then, open text clip test encoder flux. Copy and paste for negative encoder. Next, load control net. Select SD3 control net. You can also use other control net. Now, open sampler. Load the image you want to process in this case, we'll use a blurry image. Make sure to set the sampler steps to 25 and CFG to 1. Connect set union control net to the flux union control net. Download the control net model from the link in the description and save it in the control net folder. Open empty latent image. Convert width and height to input. In the AIO AUS preprocessor, convert the resolution input. Open VAE decode and preview the image.
We've added an image comparison node to compare the blurry and upscale images. Once done, connect the image to the AIOAUS preprocessor. Then connect the AIOAUS preprocessor output to control net. Connect empty latent image to K sampler. Connect the image width and height. Finally, connect set image control net to control net apply SDK. Make sure all nodes are connected in the right places. Use condition zero out and connect it with negative. I got an error because I selected the wrong type. Make sure to select flux. If you get the T5XXL error, there's a problem. Select the correct flux model. Ensure flux is properly selected. Here's our final output. Look at the details of the dog. The difference is incredible. Look how none of the details are missed, even after upscaling the blurry image. It successfully removes the blur. Let's try another image. Try another image for upscaling. For this image, I set strength to 0 0.7 and 0 0.6. I also used the scheduler to simple. Let's see how it turns out. Wow! The result is amazing. Look at that. So if you enjoyed this, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos.